Hey everyone, Danny California here, and today I want to talk about the worst thing that can happen to your team on the track. Diarrhea. What? No! Well, that would be pretty bad, but no. I'm talking about when your jammer gets sent to the penalty box. The reason this is so bad is because while she's in the box thinking about all the poor life choices she's made, I will not cut the track. Your team has to skate for a full minute without the one player that can score points for your team. Now I realize that every team is going to have different strategies for all different types of scenarios, including this one. But what I'm talking about today is if you're a newer player to the game and you don't really know what's going on um, and your jammer gets sent to the box, these are the kinds of things you're going to want to think about. First things first, communicate. Tell your team that your jammer just got sent to the box. There's so much stuff happening out on the track that it's really easy to get caught up in your own little world. Where do I go? Where's my partner? Holy crap, that blocker's huge. This pack is so fast. So talk to each other and make sure you're all on the same page. Second, speed it up. The faster the pack is moving, the longer it's gonna take for the opposing jammer to catch up and the fewer points she's gonna score. Unfortunately, this is a little harder than it sounds. Now let's say your team is pulled ahead to the front of the pack, and you're racing ahead to try to speed up that pack speed. Well, the pack is defined as the largest group of blockers from both teams within 10 feet of each other. So if your whole team pulls 10 feet away from the other team, there's no longer a pack, and the jammer gets a free pass through. Because you can only engage the jammer if you're a pack member. Additionally, if it's your team that's pulling away from the pack, you're going to start collecting penalties for destroying the pack. Wait for it. It gets worse. Let's say the opposing team picks off one of your players. This is also called trapping the goat. Now this has become the pack, and they're probably going to slow the speed down to pretty much nothing. Now you have 20 feet on either side of the pack in which you can engage other players. This is called the engagement zone. If you pull outside of that 20 foot engagement zone, you have to let the jammer go. If you continue engaging the jammer outside of the engagement zone, you'll get called for out of play penalties. Which leads me to my last piece of advice. Stay together. Now the opposing team is probably going to try to spread your team out so that their jammer has nice big holes to go through. If you can form a nice strong defensive wall either at the front or the back of the pack, you're probably going to have an easier time stopping the jammer than if you're all spread out. So remember, if your jammer gets sent to the box, stay calm and focus on a strong defense. And in the end, you only have to tough it out for 60 seconds without her. No, it's cool, guys. You go on ahead. I, I didn't want to play anyway. The worst thing that can happen to your team on the track. Zombie attacks. Sports bra malfunction? The other team's made up of ninjas. The other team's made up of pirates. The other team's made up of ninja pirates. 